I think the whole really positive message from Guess with Jess is very much about you can with your children set about finding out an answer. Now sometimes it depends obviously what questions children ask. Sometimes of course you do give them a straight answer to a straight question and any child would get very fed up if every time they asked a question you did say or oh, I wonder or let's find out but there are many many opportunities and that's a lot about the finding out process that is shown with Guess with Jess. You get them to ask questions and then you help them test out the answers. And that's, that's what's behind Guess With Jess. The, the, in the song we say, ask it, test it, find a way. And that's what children do. They ask a question, you go, oh, well, what do you think happens when you do that? And they test it out, but no, it hasn't quite answered it. But it's prompted a thought that takes them somewhere else. And then that will prompt a thought that takes them somewhere else. And that will prompt a thought that takes them somewhere else. A bee's house is called a hive. A hive. We need to find a hive. And to do that, we need to follow someone. Who do you think can lead us to a hive? An ant? A bird? Or a bee? A bee! Of course! Yes! I suppose the very much the point for me, why I stand up for Guess with Jess, is it shows that having a confusion, maybe sometimes having a wrong guess to start with, actually is a very good start. Maybe bees make honey to store it in the honeycomb so they can feed themselves and their babies all winter. Yes, there are no flowers in winter. So there's no nectar to collect. You're absolutely right, Jess. I am. We've answered the question. Through the show, through asking these questions, through testing out the answer, to finding out whether or not it works, no, that hasn't quite moving you somewhere else, getting to the point where you find a way, that's, that's the point behind inquiry-based learning. It's about asking questions. Um, through that, through that process of asking, being curious, having the confidence to look for answers, um, that really sets up tools of learning for life. The excitement of finding out does come across through what Jess does with his friends and it is just such a positive experience for young children with their parents al alongside to realise well if we say the question out loud then we can start to talk about why we're wondering how we might find out and also absolutely that it is not a disaster if your first thought about oh, what the answer to this is if it happens to be wrong you can't find out the right route unless you've possibly been on the wrong one for a little while. Oh.